Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create a login test with Selenium using the robot framework and we are going to use the Eclipse Red Robot Editor. So in the earlier session, we had learned about how to create the first Selenium test and we had added the Selenium library. We had installed the robot Selenium library and added in our project and we had created a very simple test. And if I go to my Eclipse here, so this is the project we created earlier and if I expand this project we have this test folder and inside this test folder there is this test suite. So if I go to this test suite, this is the test we created in the settings. I have added the Selenium library and this was the test where we are opening the Google browser, the google.com in Chrome browser and adding this text and click on enter and then test is completed. So now I'm going to create another test, a very simple login test. So I will create another test and I will say, I'll give a name to this test. I will say this is sample login test and I can give some documentation as well. So if I say DOC and press control and spacebar on my keyboard, I get this option for documentation. So I'll click this and I can give any documentation. This is a sample login test and that's it so now I can start creating my test so in this session I'm going to go to this website which is a demo website orange HRM and I will do the login here so let me also copy this URL and make it available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you in the notes or the description section of this video so this is the website I'm going to so the first thing I have to do is open browser I will press control spacebar for auto completion and I will use open browser selenium keyword this is the URL and then I will say on chrome browser and I have already added my chrome driver exe in my python script module or the python script folder and that is also available in the path environment variables all this we had seen in the last session so just in case you have missed the last session you can go and check that uh, the next thing is I have to input something in the user name text box so the keyword will be input I will press control space bar and I can use input text here and I have to give the locator and the text so let me find the locator first I will do a right click and say inspect and here we have we have name available for this text box and we also have ID so if ID is available this is the best to go I will copy the ID and I will say ID equals txt username and the text I want to enter is admin so you can see username is admin and password is admin123 here so I will say admin and then the next is we have to again input and we have a option for input password so I can use this I will use input password and again I have to give the locator so for password I will take this pointer from here and I will hover over the password text box and again I have the ID available so I will take this ID I'll copy this from here and say ID equals this and then I have to give the password which is admin123 let me also ident it so you there is better readability here okay so we have added username added password the next thing is I have to log in or click on the login button so I will say click and I press control space bar to get auto suggestion and I have click button and click element I believe both should work here but let me use click button and again the ID or the locator I will find the locator for login button and we have ID available which is btn login I will take this and provide here ID equals to this and that's it so I have added username password and clicked on login button now the next thing I'm going to do is let me manually log in so I will say admin and admin123 and click on login and it takes me to the home page now here I want to click on this welcome this welcome admin 
so I will find the locator for this element and here if I see I have ID available so I will take this ID which is welcome and say here click I will press control spacebar and here this time I will say click element and ID equals to this and now the next step is after clicking on this welcome admin I get this logout link so I want to click here let me again check the locators and here if I see looks like there is no property available like name or ID but I can always use the link text so this is a link and I can use the link text so I can say click element sorry this is click element so I will say click and control spacebar for auto suggestion click element and here I will say link equals to logout and that's it so this is done and let me I will at the end I will just log this is a built-in keyword log and I will log the message test completed and let me take this here and yes I will just save this by pressing ctrl s or clicking on this save button here and I will do a right click and say run my test sample login test and let us see what happens here so it should open the chrome browser and yes it goes to the website logs in and it could not log out so did you see it clicked on the welcome link but could not find the logout and if we see the report let me see this so here so it says element with locator link logout not found also if I go to the report so you can see on the console we have this report which is an HTML report I can copy this from here this is also available here under the reports I can click it from here as well it opens in Eclipse but I can go to the browser and open it there and this is failed I go to the logs and see the failure and it's saying element with locator link logout not found uh, so here one issue can be that because this script is very fast and uh, the application might not be that fast or some elements might take some time to load so for that we use implicit weights in selenium or explicit weights as well we can use but for now I will use a implicit weight so here I will say implicit and press control spacebar to check the keyword I have I have set browser implicit weight and I will keep it to like 5 seconds so here there is by default implicit weight of 0 seconds always available but we can uh, increase the value so I am saying implicit weight is for 5 seconds so this means it it will keep on checking for the element every 500 milliseconds up to a max time of 5, five seconds so now if I save this and run this again let us see what happens so it should go to chrome browser yes does login logs out and it's fine I think we did not close the browser so let me also say close browser and that's it let me run this again and it is now running and it logs in logs out and close the browser and everything is fine and if I look at the report now I will refresh and see everything is passed so this is how you can create a very simple login test in selenium in robot framework I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching